For those of our listeners that might not know who you are um, or what you do, why don't you kind of tell our listeners who you are and what you do? Okay. My name is Ian Tregillis. Um, I have kind of a double life. Um, In one of my lives, I'm a novelist and short story writer. I'm the author of seven novels, um, an alternate history World War II Cold War trilogy called The Milkweed Triptych. And then I wrote... uh, sort of Raymond Chandler pastiche noir mystery set in Thomas Aquinas' vision of heaven called Something More Than Night. And most recently, I finished the Alchemy Wars trilogy, which is basically steampunk robots in an alternate 1920s and uh, conversations about free will and spies and explosions. That's one of my lives. And then in my other life, I, I'm a physicist at Los Alamos National Laboratory. When you come up with your characters' names, do you put much thought into the names of the characters? So I'm going to go in a weird direction with that question. <laughs> okay. I'm not very far into the mechanical. Um, just started it. But the rogue clacker in Chapter 1, I'm not even going to try to say the name. It's a good thing that I also have the audible to listen to <laughs> if, if I'm driving or something. How did you come up with that rogue clacker's name in chapter one? Oh, I believe you're referring to Pergen Bellic Ostravantis. Yes. Pergen <laughs> <laughs> um, Bellic Ostravantis, or as he calls himself, Adam. Adam, yep. <laughs> um, so true names are a recurring theme in a lot of magic systems. You know, it's not something that I made up. It's just something you hear a lot. The, the, uh, the power of the true name. If you know somebody's true name, you have a power over them. Okay. A penguin walks through the door right now wearing a sombrero. What does he say and why is he here? Yeah, I think I know exactly what that penguin would say. Okay. The penguin would waddle in, look me in the eye, and say, 